Burn Shaver 1000 here. Right over here beside me, I've got... Monkey! Monkey 1000. Check uh -huh. her channel out. Today, we're going to open up this box I've got here from VAT19. It came all the way from St. Louis, Missouri. So, let's get this opened up. See what it is. Well, you probably already know from the title, but so let's open it up and check it out. Okay guys, so it's snack time. We're gonna see what kind of tasty goodness we have in here. Look at the, the blade on this knife. Isn't that beautiful? It is, that's a very, very cool looking blade. Did you ever see it? It's like a wood grain. Oh yeah, that's cool. Isn't that cool? Mm hmm that is cool. It's like a wood grain. Is that hard to do? I've never done a wood grain, so I don't know. That is really cool. This thing is super sharp and I've never sharpened it. But it's cool. So anyway, it's not about the knife. It's <laughs> about what's in this package, which you guys already seen, the title, it's crickets. But kind of crickets. We gotta be careful because <laughs> monkey the monkey keeps thinking they're gonna jump all over the house. Yeah. Now, I'm going to eat a couple of these. Well, I'm going to try every one of them. Now, I've had crickets before in survival situations. I wasn't in a plane crash or nothing. I would just go camping and do survival stuff. This was before I was filming all the time. Uh, but what's so different about these is we got different flavors. We got salt and vinegar, <laughs> sour cream and onion, bacon, and cheese. Now, I'm going to eat probably one out of each each box and I'm going to send the box to a friend of mine back in Ohio who wants to try some weird shit. Yeah. I think he was meaning more like uh, exotic meats. Yeah. But this is what he's getting so if he sees this, Andy if he sees this, this is what's on its way but if he don't that's even better. Yeah. Anything jumping so, out of here? <laughs> All right, what should I try first, Monk? Monkey's not going to eat any, but she said she will smell them oh and watch God. me eat them. How can you eat those things? They open, have eyeballs. Open mouth, insert crick. They're crickets. I don't care. They have eyeballs. Okay. Which one should I start with, Monk? That blue one. The blue one? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is salt and vinegar. Let's open this up. Uh, like you I said, she won't eat them, but she will. You she start said she will smell in the bed over at night. I'm going to be I want to give one to Bruno. No, Bruno's not getting one. Bruno can have a cricket. No, he cannot. All right, man. Jeez, make my dog wimp. Okay, oh. now I, this is kind of sticky here, but mm. I want them to be Ooh. fresh when I send them to Andy. Okay. Smells like salt and vinegar potato chips. Here, Monk. Smell mm, that. No. Just smell it. I'm afraid. Smell it. What if it goes up my nose? Don't go. <laughs> Just smell it like you would a bag of chips. Okay, nice. Jesus Christ. So, alright. She don't want to play, so I mean, it's just smelling it. Though. Alright, here is a cricket. I need my glasses on. Can I kiss you before you eat it because I might not want to after? There's a cricket. Focus in on these eyes there. Alright, there's one. Is there a bigger one? No, they're all about the same size. So here we go, this is salt and vinegar. Mmm. These are a lot better than the crickets I had. Of course, the crickets I had, they weren't bad. They just taste like, kind of taste like uh, salt and vinegar chip. Like mm. the crumbs down at the bottom, the burnt little burnt pieces. That's what it tastes like. Man, I show that. The only thing is, you know, you get the little 
wings and stuff. She wants me to show you this. Nutritional facts. Look at the protein that's in that. It's pretty good. These things are a sustainable food source. 4.3 calories. Um, protein 0 0.67 grams. 1%. Um, so, I mean, they got just like there's the rump, there's the flank, there's the drumstick, the breast, and the wings. So that did taste, that one tastes pretty good. But the, the ones I, like, I caught and ate myself, they just they there really wasn't any flavor to them at all i mean you know i've had grasshoppers ever since grasshoppers tasted a little like uh, peanut butter to me they taste well not kind of like these to me they taste kind of like grasshopper or crickets because to me there there was no flavor just crunchy but i'll tell you what you eat six or seven of them it'll give you a boost yeah i ain't kidding you yeah and this is sustainable. That means you can eat these, eat nothing but these for 21 days. Mm -hmm. You will not die. If you eat rabbit meat, nothing but rabbit meat for 21 days, you will die of rabbit starvation. They're completely lean. There's no fat. So you will die unless you eat the bones, the innards, the brains, and stuff like that, where there is a little bit of fat and a little bit of protein. protein. But if you just eat rabbit meat for 21 days straight, you will die. Mm. So, now this one is sour cream and onion. It's funny. I'd much rather, I just got these today too. I couldn't wait to eat them. <laughs> but those damned old candy canes I'm putting off and putting off. I, them things. But I'll sit here, hey, you want a cricket? Yeah, give me a cricket. This one. These ones, I can't really smell the sour cream and onion. Just, there's really no, can no. you smell it? There's really no smell. Let's see. Now, the, 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 uh, the, 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 um, what do you call it? The salt and vinegar. They did taste like salt and vinegar chips. So, here we go. Here's another little cricket. And this one is the sour cream and onion. Now see this, tastes just like a regular cricket. I cannot taste the sour cream, I cannot taste the onion. So, I mean it's alright. It's just, it tastes like a cricket. The problem with people wanting to try something like this is they gotta get over what we call plate fright. It's like, oh, I'm eating that, to where, let's say, I would never do this to her, but let's say if I was to set different potato chips down here, break them up, different flavors, and tell her to guess which one's which, and I handed her one of these to eat, she would not know she was eating a cricket. Hmm. Like there's no nasty guts and shit coming out like that. Just kind of tastes like a, uh, like a potato chip, really, hmm. in a way. It's got the texture of a potato chip. You can't taste potatoes in it, of course. It's a cricket. But. Doesn't it taste like a bug? No. Did you ever accidentally chew a gnat? Yeah. That's fucking nasty. Yes. These are good. You give me an, I won't eat a gnat. If you say, you want to eat a cricket or a gnat, give me the cricket. I will not eat a gnat. Because them little tiny gnats, they get in your mouth if you accidentally chew one, and it's happened to me, they are nasty. Oh, okay. So here we are. We are with the bacon and cheese. Okay. It's these ones here. Oh, excuse me. Let's open these up. That's what they smell like. Um, a little bit of, I think I can smell a little bit of the cheese in there. Maybe, yeah. Right, let's get one of these guys out here. You had to buy three packs. Well, you got to buy $9 worth of stuff. It's VAT-19. Um, 
They got all kinds of stuff. But you gotta buy nine dollars worth of stuff. Okay. Which this was three dollars or something per box or package. So alright, here's this little guy here. Another one. He is the bacon and cheese. No. I can't taste the bacon and cheese. So out of these three, my favorite, which I thought was, well, wait a minute. No, I can taste it now. Mm -hmm. It tastes like a cheddar cheese potato chip. Mm. No kidding. So it would be this one first, this one second, although this one you can taste immediately. This one took a second. Now I can taste it and it's very good. Excellent. First, second, and this one, like I said, it's not bad. It's just, it's not, it's not that flavorful. I thought it'd be really good, but mm -hmm. to me, it doesn't have really have that much of a flavor. So there we go. I have eaten crickets and monkey set something down here. <laughs> There's one missing, but I'll, I can't tell you why right now, but I will tell you soon. Um. I can't tell them why right now. Wait a second, I'll tell you. You remember why? No. Oh. <laughs> so. Oh, that's right, yeah. Okay, shit. Because I don't know. I need to find out about it. Yeah. They should have. Okay. I heard nothing. So here we go. We got the bacon and cheese, salt and vinegar, sour cream. And onion. This I never did get <laughs> get a taste from. It, it just tasted like, like I said, just kind of tasted like a cricket, which to me really has no flavor. I mean, it's crunchy. It just does not have a flavor to me. <laughs> now, when I seen these, uh, what was his name? <sighs> He's in Australia, bushcrafting something. This yeah. guy's pretty cool, bald head. Mm -hmm. He's funny, and he does a lot of camping videos. Now he had something similar he had some crickets and he said you guys need to try them she was like "Ooh!" i was like well i've eaten crickets before but he had a couple different flavors too now they wasn't from this company no mm -mm. so and i was like all right so i didn't know they made them flavored yeah so thanks to him i wish i knew his name right uh, i'll put it across the screen here but so i mean if it wasn't for him i wouldn't be doing this because well, i would have no reason to Right. Unless we was out in a survival type video, filming a survival type video, then I would. It'd be no big deal. Mm -hmm. So, what was that? So anyway, guys, there you go. If you like weird stuff like this, crickets. Not kidding you. Very good. Um, just the wings. It's kind of listen. It's kind of like the. All right, you know how you eat popcorn? Yeah. And that stuff, yeah, that's that's what it tastes like. Well, you know the shells of the popcorn, right? They get in your, yeah. That's what it is, yeah. But as far as I give these two, uh, f for as far as cricket wise, I give these two four out of five, five being the best. And cricket-wise, I'll give this one a two because it just tastes like a cricket. There's nothing special about it. These two, you can actually taste flavor in. So they get a four out of five as far as crickets. I'm not a cricket connoisseur, but I have eight crickets, and I know what they taste like, and I know these are freaking good. <laughs> Monkey's face. I wish I wanted to sit back here so I didn't have to get going like this. But So you can't see the tree anyway. What do you think, Monk? You never tried them. Don't need to. Did you smell any flavors though? Yeah, like I did, and this one more than anything. Oh, the bacon and yeah. cheese one, that mm -hmm. one? Did it smell like chips? It smelled like something. See, the salt and vinegar, I smelled the, the vinegar in it, but this one, I didn't smell anything. Did you? Mm-mm. -mm. The sour cream and onion? No. This one, I smelled the vinegar, and this one, I kind of smelled the cheese a little bit. They're all good, so I need to... So I need to send the rest of these to Andy. Yeah. Everybody's different. Yeah. I think he's thinking I'm gonna send him some kind. I think he was wanting meat stick because 
You yeah. know, as I did these exotic meat sticks, ostrich, and... And they do have them. I saw on the way home the other day, they had signs on the side of the road, and they were advertising. So they do still have them there. Well, there, where we got those. Yes. Okay. All right. But they were so, closed when I went by. So. All right. Well, anyway, we'll send him these things. I will send him a meat stick, but just in case he watches this, I'm not going to tell him what it is. I told him... He has to send me a video clip of him eating these and eating uh, the meat stick. Mm. He's gonna love the meat stick, but in case he watches this, I don't want him to know what that is. That's gonna be a surprise. So anyway, guys, what do you say, Monk? Monk says it's out for now, y'all. <laughs> Where are you going tomorrow, Monk? Camping, yay! Hey, which we got some stuff to do here in a little bit, so. All right. Well, I gotta get camera equipment ready to go. Uh-oh. And don't you got to get something ready to go? No. Your camera equipment? Oh, you did that for me. No. <laughs> She's got to get her camera equipment ready. <laughs> but you said you were doing that for me. You got my that, batteries guys. ready all for I, I me. I did not say that. I thought you did. It must have been in my dream. <laughs> I did get your batteries ready, but she's got to pack her camera back oh. and pack her clothes. Yeah. Alright, so thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Shea Bears and Mr. Man Legend. Gone for now. Don't forget to check out Monkey 1000's channel and stay tuned for some awesome camp out videos. Yay, we're gonna go fishing. Yeah, we're gonna go fishing. We're not taking a boat. Uh, what am I cooking tomorrow? We're cooking steak with our new tripod. Yes, we're gonna do a tripod review. Yes. So stay tuned for that. I'm sure she will do a review as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. So if you see me talking like this or you see her talking over like this, we're not ignoring you. We're just looking at each other's camera because we will do it at the same time probably. So appreciate you guys watching. Thanks a lot. Have a, well, I guess tomorrow Sunday, so. Sunday. Okay. Tomorrow Sunday. Well, by the time they watch this, it'll be Sunday. Have a great week coming up. <laughs> see you guys soon. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs>